feel like a getaway to a small marina close to Brisbane with heaps of amenities and restaurants all around? Well, this is what you're after. Welcome to Raby Bay Marina and welcome back to the Rudder. My name's Brooke and this is Damien and we're going to take you all around the facilities of this beautiful marina. So we've come from the Seaway today, uh, it's been a pretty good journey, it's taken us around two hours from the Seaway at about 23 or so knots. Uh, we weren't particularly sure we were going so we had to come off the plane a few times just to uh, make sure our bearings were correct, but you know, give yourself two hours uh, and it was a really good trip. It, the entrance to Raby Bay Marina is quite narrow so you just need to, honey, in the middle of them. <laughs> the entrance to Raby Bay Marina is quite narrow, so as the tide comes out, you will need to make sure that you are heading down the channel. Captain's just instructing me to make sure I'm going through the two markers, which I am successfully doing. The marina is always dug out to about four metres of depth for those with a yacht and a keel, but I have been told that some of the channels leading in can be a little bit shallower, so you might need to get some local knowledge and, uh, and work the tides out to, to make the most of it. This marina is at a really good location for day tripping to Peel Island, to Coochie Mudlow, even to Tangaluma Rex, depending on the wind direction. Anyway, we're going to uh, keep driving up this canal. It is um, quite a narrow little canal and there's a, an estate just we're passing by. So we'll show you a bit of that and um, we'll get all tied up and show you around the marina. Approaching the marina now ahead you can see all the pylons. The great thing around the organisation of this marina is we've been told that we are yellow uh, 15 so it's quite easy to navigate. All we need to do is look out for the yellow pylons and then look for number 15. We are the ones on the end according to our instructions so it's so easy if you've never been here before all you need to do is look out for the colors and then find the number so here we are here yellow pylon and 15 right on the end so we'll uh, go to the end we'll turn around and um, we'll tie up and we'll see you when we are on the shore. Welcome to Raby Bay Marina. This is a small marina just near Cleveland and Raby Bay. It's a small marina with only 70 berths in here and you can see there's some quite large boats around. It holds up to 70 foot vessels. We're going to go have a look around this lovely little spot. Uh, we've got a key so it is a secure area so we can leave the boat down there reasonably well in the knowledge that everything's going to be there when we get back. Fingers crossed the puppies stay on board. Some beautiful vessels around and this is a private marina so it, you don't need to be a club member. It, you ring up Peter Hansen Yacht Brokerage who run the yacht, who run the marina. Uh, you look at their website and you can find out all the information. So I'll just use my fob key and we'll get off the finger and have a look. We've just exited the secure section of the marina and there's a number of different uh, fingers which we'll show you later. Walking along this path now, we're on our way up to the restaurants. There's a variety of different restaurants and bars, cafes, all great for all different dining options throughout the day. You've got Italian restaurants, bars, seafood restaurants um, and lots of coffee shops. So let's go and have a look. We've made our way to the restaurant precinct of the Raby Bay Marina. This is thoughtfully designed in an alcove shape, so all of the restaurants have a beautiful view overlooking the marina, as you can see. Let's take a walk down here and have a look at all the different restaurant options now. 
can see there's a beautiful wide decking space for people to enjoy the scenery and also to go for a run or walk your puppies. So you've got lots of restaurants, as I said, with a beautiful view overlooking the marina. And as you can probably hear, I'm not sure whether you heard that, they're all pet friendly. So the puppies, Molly and Pippa are currently on board um, at the moment, but all of these restaurants, we just came to have a look to see what's available tonight. And they're all very dog friendly. So that's fantastic to know if you're a, if you're a fur baby owner. There's also a beautiful park over here um, where you can take your puppy for a toilet stop, obviously cleaning up your mess after you. And we've got puppy str strutting along here. Yeah, and as you can see, all the bars around here. We've made our way around the marina, past the restaurant district, to the other side. So you can get a good view of the whole marina and see all the facilities available. One of the neat things is here we have a public pontoon where you can um, catch a number of charter vessels. And you can also see little Antoinette uh, tucked in behind that big um, 44 lagoon. So just remember this is a private marina. So there's five fingers, most of the fingers and birds are privately owned. And you can see all the apartments behind us. So I'm guessing a lot of those people have their vessel tied up here. But they can go into a pool, you ring up the office, which is just over there, Baby Bay Marina, and check out if they have a berth available for you. It was really easy to book. Um, so we just called them up, obviously need a bit of information about the vessel and about our insurance. And then, they just found a berth for us. Um, we're actually in a 12 metre berth, which would have cost a little more, but they charged us at the 10 metre rate. So that's really nice. To find out the rates, just go online. It's all published on their website, which is one of the few marinas that actually publishes the prices and everything on their website. The other neat thing is they publish the fuel price. No one else does. So here's one of the charter boats coming in now. So you can see it's a, this marina can take all weather. There's, it's pretty much enclosed on all sides, so regardless of the wind direction, you're going to be pretty much out of it. It has been quite windy, and that's one of the reasons we decided to go to a marina, uh, just for a couple of days to get away. A really useful aspect is just all the amenities that are around you. That's Cleveland train station, so you can go from there straight into the city if you wanted to go see a show, or if someone wanted to come out and visit. Across there, there's a big grocery store and a liquor shop, so you can get all the supplies you need. And actually, just up the road, there's quite a big industrial estate if uh, something broke on your boat. So you are really, you're not sort of out in the sticks. There's lots of things around that you can use uh, on your stay away. Some additional facilities of the marina is uh, this cage behind us, where all the cars are, is actually a locked facility that you can only get into with your swipe card. And around the back of the marina office is uh, some toilets and showers for use only by uh, the people who have a little swipe card and a berth. So Peter Hansen Yacht Brokers are actually the people that manage the marina. So if you're Googling, that's the page that's going to come up when you need to book. Um, but they're open seven days a week um, and they're even there on weekends, which is really good. One of the last little benefits is this has also got a fuel dock. Um, there's only premium, unleaded and diesel. So all your fuel needs, but yeah, you can come down here and fill up. It's an additional benefit just for, you know, where, wherever you're birthed, you can fill up um, before you have a day's journey out. So as we've just showed you, this is a beautiful, idyllic getaway. We're actually staying at Raby Bay Marina for three nights. And um, we've found that the facilities even surrounding this area are quite nice. Damien, you went for a walk out to the yeah, lighthouse. Go out to the Cleveland Lighthouse. There's um, some nice bars and restaurants out there. Brooke went for a swim. I found a local swimming pool. It's only um, a sort of a 15 minute walk from here. So I went to a local swimming pool and did some laps. There's lots of running tracks, walking tracks. Um, lots to keep you entertained while you're staying here as well. And obviously one of the big benefits is you've got direct access to Moreton Bay. So straight out the canal, you're only a few minutes drive from Peel Island, Coochie Mudlow Island. So I think we're going to go and have a uh, investigate tomorrow out in the bay. Hopefully the weather's like this. Um, so we can really get, you know, so we don't feel all that 
urgency to get back to our anchorage, we can just put back into Raby Bay Marina. So that was a quick snapshot of everything that there is to, on offer at Raby Bay Marina. We really hope you enjoyed that video. Yeah, if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Otherwise, we'll see you next time on the rudder.